Hey, it's D Factory Rat. Uh, we're here at the model factory. And for some reason, the lights are out right now. So let me see if, if I can turn the lights back on. Ah, uh, hey, what are you doing on there? Factory Rat, get off that bike. Jeez, you're going to end up breaking something. No wonder the lights were out. That's our that's our uh, last build uh, from last year's motorcycle group build, hosted by Cliff. That's the Redbird, and it also has the has a Robin figure that's supposed to be up there, but uh, Factory Rat kicked him off his bike. Uh, so uh, we want to do a video on our entry for this year's motorcycle group build. Let me, uh, let me turn this other light on. Here's Cliff's card from the GI Mechanic Scale Modeling Channel YouTube. Cliff, um, here's his card, and he hosts a uh, motorcycle group build. Um, we've, we've entered it the last two years. We just got a couple uh, tokens from him uh, from the last year. In fact, let me grab those tokens real quick. I showed these on my last video, but we got we got this token and uh, this token for the last two years we entered the group build. So thank you, Cliff, for those. And uh, let's talk about what we're gonna build this year. If you're not familiar with Cliff, go check out his channel and uh, grab a motorcycle and jump into group build with us because the more the merrier. Let me slide this other bike over and make a little room here for us. Um, let's see here. Let me start off by saying a few years back, I went to a... Uh, model show, the Macomb Community College, uh, and I was buying some model kits there, and uh, I, seen a, I seen a kit there, and this is the kit I seen. Let's see if we can back this up a little bit. Um, I got seen this vintage Harley Davidson, uh, 1918 Harley. 18 F, and uh, I said, "Oh, that's that's kind of cool, you know." So I, I told the guy, uh, I think it was like 25 bucks, and uh, I told the guy, I said, "Hey, uh, I'm interested in buying that," and uh, and he says, "Well, here's the deal: you gotta buy, you gotta buy the whole series because he wasn't gonna split them up. It was his father's collection." So I said, oh, okay. Um, I think I paid, I think I, 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 I went ahead and bought the whole series. So I got, there's, uh, there's uh, number two. Let's see. If we get this better. So there's number one in the series. Number two. Number three. And number four. I wasn't expecting to buy all four that day, but um, looking back on it now, I'm glad I did. Um, I think the Harley one's the hardest one it seems like to come by, and uh, that's the one I actually wanted to buy. And uh, I think I only paid, I said, I think I only paid 25 bucks for it. I know if you look at these a lot of times now, I mean, they're probably over 100 bucks just for the one. So, actually... It worked out pretty good, and I always said, "Well, when I retire, I'll, I'll I got I got these kits to build." So now is as good a time as any. So um, I'm probably gonna start off. I'm not gonna follow them in order. I think I'm gonna start off with. Let me do it like this. Or slide these back over here. Sorry about the camera. I think I'm going to start out with this one. I'm going to start with the last one, number four in the series. 
sorry about the glare. Um, 1924 Ace. So I just popped a lid off this thing. Take a look. It come like this. You got that little little brace in there. Um, here's a there's a display base for it. So that'll be nice to have a display base you can set it on like this. So we get all four of them done. They put them all together. Here's a little uh there's some tires in here all bagged. And there's some some glue. I don't know if that's any good or not. Uh, probably not. <clears throat> Here's our instruction sheet. I don't I looked at this and I, I can't see when this these models were made. Uh, I know they've got a little bit of age on them, but I have no idea when they were made. I'll have to go look that up. Um, let's uh we got some decals here. They don't look too bad. They're a little yellow. Hopefully they'll work. They don't look like they're cracked up too bad. And uh, there's a couple loose parts in here. I know a couple people have told me that these these this plastic in these kits are real brittle. In fact, the day I bought this kit. Uh, a guy came up to me and said, hey, he said, uh, I bought a few of those kits and he, he borrowed, he, he took the motors out of them and built uh, old airplanes with them. And he told me uh, that the plastic's real brittle and it breaks real easy. And I know Charlie Mack has said that the, the, the plastic's real brittle on these too. So we're going to have to be careful with this. Go slow. Make sure we don't break anything more than we need to. But um, I think this will be, uh, I'll have to do some research on this and figure out what color we want to go with. But um, looking forward to giving one of these a try. And uh, so we'll do uh, updates on it as we, as we work on it. Uh, we got a bunch of other builds coming up too in February and that. So and I got to wrap up my spinner Blade Runner model. That's coming along good. So, I don't want to make this video too long, but uh, this will be this will be the one we're gonna do. It's like a cool bike, and so it's a four cylinder, and so stay tuned. I'll do another video as we make some more progress on this, and. Uh, I say thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, we're almost up to 600 subs, so that's great. Thanks for everybody for jumping on board, and uh, thanks for everybody for watching and leaving a comment and maybe a thumb up or down. And uh, we'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.